everyone is always around. Think, think, photo recall was half built. Seen rooster, will not understand. Does my good man can't ground that too. Selfless rooster, and 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 can't ground that too. Describe your song in one sentence. The disco fight song of the century with the question that will plague all mankind. Will Scott understand? Star Trek meets I like to move it, move it. <laughs>
we had had a really, I thought, pretty amazing script writing in it where um, it had been a lot of fun and really interactive and really performative. And uh, just, I just felt like the energy was super high from that. Mm -hmm. And I felt like to come down um, to a kind of a text-based, quiet, contemplative um, experience would have been anticlimactic, especially for seniors who are, you know, getting ready to hit the road and stuff. So I thought, um, you know what, let's do songwriting. It's kind of like poetry in the fact that it is verse, but it has a performative aspect to it and it, it, it's freeing, it's wild, um, and uh, it involves some risks and some skills that I feel students might be a little bit more able to relate to. I thought it was poetry too. I was totally down for that. And then out of the blue, they're like, oh, you're going to write songs and it's going to be set to music. I'm like, okay, because I'll never have to perform it, right? <laughs> Describe your song in one sentence. Uh, Reptilian Overlords is a slow song for all you lovers out there looking to get down to the U.S. government.
done this before? Have you wrote your own songs? Made your own original content? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't either. I mean, I've written like parodies and stuff before. Um, like to existing songs, but I've never like written a tune. I've written, like, I guess, I guess I've written one song in middle school, but there wasn't lyrics. It was just like, you're given a prompt and then you had to address the prompt. So I wrote like a Russian folk song. What was the theme? Um, it didn't match the theme. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel making original content? It feels great. Yeah. <laughs> it was difficult at first, but now that I've now that it, I've kind of gotten like a little more used to it, it's uh, easier to write. It's easier to write a song now than it was at the beginning, which makes sense because it was the songwriting unit, and we were in a school, yeah. so we learned things. So. <laughs> How do you feel about your, your song being like uh, cemented into that Amazing! Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> as soon as they started playing it, I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm still like that." As they're playing it, but it's it's really it's really great. It's definitely new to me, for at least, because I'm more used to writing and yeah. new content-wise. I'm not really comfortable with making songs, but it's it's a new experience and I'm kind of enjoying it, actually. Yeah, I never wrote songs either. Okay. What is your guys' experience with original content? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, in... Me and Sam's old metal band, it took oh us weeks. God. It took us so long to write anything. We don't talk about that, but we <laughs> <laughs> Because we were um, writing, writing really annoying stuff. And then recently when we started moving into like funk and jazz, it's been a lot easier to write stuff quickly. When I've, when I've sat down with Sam and Bodie to write things, it's usually a pretty good experience. Um, we have one track that we're still going to do. But... I write a lot of chords and songs, and then I bring it to Bodie and Sam with it. I know, right? <laughs> That's basically it. I tried, but I suck at writing. Yeah. So, what is your songwriting process? Mine was um, procrastinate for many <laughs> days and Did then you? have writer's block. No, have writer's block and then procrastinate because of the writer's block. And then at the very last minute, have inspiration, do a thing, scrap the whole thing because it was actually only okay, and then have inspiration again, and then create the thing. Agreed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yes, definitely a lot of writer's block and procrastination. It felt like it had to be perfect right away. It's still not perfect. It's fine. But, um, it's, uh, I guess, I don't, even, I don't even remember. Sometimes... It was, like, I used the tracks that were given to us, and then I wrote lyrics to the tracks, and then... No, just kidding, I lied. I wrote lyrics, and then I matched it to the track, but then with the Swing Club, I wrote, like, the chord progression, and then I just, like, came up with some phrases, and I was like, all right, this is how it fits in here. Like, where do you get your inspirations for the songs? Mothman. Mothman? Yep. The legend? Yes, the man, the myth, the legend. Get yourself a seven foot tall man from New Jersey. What? <laughs> what about you? Uh, uh, other songs. Other songs? Yeah. What kind of music inspires you? Um, well, I like all kinds of music. So, like, it depends on what mood I'm in, what, what, I'm, what I'm feeling, like my groove. What is your process of writing a song? So you get inspired. What happens next? Okay, oh, okay. So I first write the poem um, based on the prompt that she gives us. And then I fit the song into the beat. Like, and then I write the music more like. Uh, or, or actually, I sing out the melody first. Yeah. So I write the poem, sing out the melody, and then I do the backing track. Kind of similar. I usually come up with the chorus first, and then um, it's kind of got like a tune in my head that's already stuck there. And then I go through all the backing tracks and go, "Oh, this one kind of fits, so let's just use it." And then I write the rest of the song. My inspiration yeah. for the song. For your songs. Um, I mean, some of them were, you know, the like kind of elaborately built out of like different, like 
different song generators or a, like tasks that Miss Anderson gave us. Or other ones, I just kind of wrote down on a piece of paper and it ended up working. So I think it totally varied by song. I think by the end I was able to do it more independently. How does the beginning of the process look like? What is that result? What changes? Um, I guess for a lot of it, it started with like hearing, kind of having like a theme for the song, you know, like the board game song, for example. Um, and then, you know, listening to examples of that and then just starting to write it and I guess I kind of approach it as I would like any other writing or just like getting up all your thoughts down and organizing it into that or what you do. Um, it, like when Miss Anderson decided to do the storytelling song that kind of like very slightly tricked me because the way I think of it every every song is a storytelling song so for each song that I'm trying to write I'm trying to tell a story and I just, I just, I just kind of base it around off that. I kind of want intricate lyrics. I don't want like hella dumb pop lyrics. So I'm trying to. You want your deep lyrics? Yes, deep lyrics. And I like to think I have like very like deep wide. Music. Yes, deep and evil. I like to think that I have wide music taste. So I'm trying to draw inspiration from like. I think most recent I drew inspiration from like Nirvana and like um, the Eagles. How would you describe your song in one sentence? Um. My song is uh, based on the quote from a movie I heard, and I think it's, it's a wonderful thought to have. Breathe against my face is what I feel. I'm in the
Explain your song in one sentence. Originally supposed to be about a dude who got an STD from a girl and was going to kill her, and now it's more of a heartbreak. A group of high school cliches. Russian roulette, shot and chat. Jews, fears, and being betrayed. Any sane man would go mad. My heart is weak as low to her. My love, oh my love. It's cruel to stare into her eyes. Stronger than her. Excited and terrified. I should have ran by a woman.
and um, what was it like to lead the class? <laughs> in songwriting? Yeah, like it seems like, I think this is the first time you've done a class like this before. Yeah. How was that experience? Um, well, so, okay, so mm -hmm. when I was thinking about doing the unit, I really didn't have any idea how I would design it. Um, I had... I had some, I'd, I had a few ideas of how I would design it, but I wasn't totally sure. And I ran into an intercession teacher named Drew from Reiki Center, and he gave me this book um, with a lot of songwriting lessons in it, and that gave me the backbone of creating the class. And then I wove in some of my own techniques and experiences. Um, the experience of teaching the class was very surprising. Um, but going into the class, I came in with a folder full of uh, backing tracks, that is, the music without the song on top, that had been written by students at the school and myself and my husband. My original idea was that the students, you guys, would write the song on top of the backing track because I thought that writing the whole song from scratch might be too overwhelming and might be too challenging. What ended up happening was after a few go-arounds of doing it that way, uh, the students actually started writing their own songs from scratch, which was something that I never in a million years had anticipated. It's quite next level. Most people will never in their lives do that. Uh, and it's phenomenal that you guys took that step. Maybe it's a testament to your design thinking skills. Mm -hmm. yeah. Explain your song in one sentence. It is a... Uh semi-factual story song about experiences with my girlfriend. One, two, three, four. Had your favorite cassette in my pocket. It was playing sweet guitar. I knew I needed her. Since that cold day at the park. Had your favorite cassette in my pocket It was playing sweet guitar I knew I needed her Since that cold day at the park
ourselves? Hello. I'm the instrument we play. I play bass. Yeah. My name is Trey. I'm Lucas. Nice to meet you. I play piano. Uh, I'm Anna, and I sing. My name's Sam. I play drums. I'm Ezra. I play guitar. How did you come by this class? How did you join it? So, Miss Anderson came to me one day and said, Hey, I want to do a songwriting unit. How do we pull that off? And I said, Well, these boys can help you make scratch tracks. And then, once she had everyone writing songs, she wanted to perform them. So she came to everyone and said, I need a band. What you expect to do versus what you're doing now? I thought it was going to be a lot less free. Like, we are going to be in one room. And, like, yeah. I thought, like, like the person's song we were doing would come in one at a time, and we would just, like, learn it. But it's been pretty fun. Yeah. I agree with that statement. Very flexible and super nice. Especially for, like, me, Sam, and, and uh, Ezra, who are pretty much, for two days out of the week, we're playing music for 16 hours straight. And it's holy crap. It's, yeah. It's wonderful. We are playing music for 16 hours straight. I haven't even had the energy to process that. <laughs> it's, it's so nice, but it's also slightly exhausting now that it's been a week. It was exhausting on Tuesday. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, how long have you been doing music together? This group has been doing music together for nearly a week now. Yes. No, because <laughs> one like four days. Because me, Sam, and me, Sam, and Lucas are in a band, and me, Lucas, no, me, Ezra, and Sam are in a band, but. And but and is, and I'm and just is, here. And and I just, here. Yeah. But but this band, the people that you see on this couch, have been playing together for almost a week. And it's been great. Yeah. How do you handle the original content that uh, other students have given you to uh, make for this concert? I think we try to go as close to like the demos that they've given us. Um, but but we make alterations and stuff. Uh, some of the songs, like I, I think it's common that songs are too short because they just get all the lyrics out as fast as possible, and it, you know, then you have like a one minute demo that has all of their lyrical content, and so we have to expand it. But some of the songs have been plenty long. They're like not all hard to sing, but it's nice. It's fun to take something that was like pretty generic and then like make it more musical. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot of the songs handed to us were written um, as just a guitar with a couple of chords, as a couple of chords. But what we do is we take those chords and just build like a ton of different parts off of it, and like complete. And usually we'll completely change the feel of like the ones that were only guitar. Otherwise, it would be very difficult to do as yeah. a full band. We we have been filling out the emptier tracks. Yeah. How is this different? From well, so if you play jazz and you do standards, it's almost not that different, right? Because when you're given like a chart for a jazz standard, it's just here are the changes. And a, me and a melody, and that's about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and, and so some of these songs, it's just like, all right, so here's what's going on, you know, like from a mechanical standpoint. Like, here's how we quantify this with theory. And then we just go on with doing it. Um, but if, if you're used to learning like tracks as they're recorded, like songs that you might hear on the radio, it's a ton different because there's no wiggle room with that. You're trying to emulate a part exactly. Yeah. And, but also in a way that's sort of how it is though. With a lot of these songs we are, like you just mentioned, emulating the track almost exactly. And because most of us wrote these songs, uh, uh, wrote a lot of them. Not, I wouldn't say most. Of them. Well, well, we wrote we wrote the um, the instrumentals for these yeah. songs. So, so because of that, we sort of know we pretty much know what we're going to be doing with them. But a lot of a lot of the tracks, we're writing our own parts. Or in the instance of Paolo song, we're finding we're playing the parts, going through like seven second sections each, and then figuring out each part note by note. How many skills did you accumulate during this specific time period that you didn't have before? Like, for... I think we've all, like, most of us, maybe not, and I have had this experience of, like, working with a new band before. So, it's more just building on this concept of yeah. work, exercising this muscle of cooperating with other people that we haven't, well, that we might have or might not have played, played with before. 
Collaboration. Collaboration. I, I think the kick, like, we've been Listen. fine musically. Like, all none of these tracks are, like, super hard or anything. Um, but. So that, that hasn't been, like, too much of a push. I don't but know that. I have just been so exhausted every day and, like, coming in on not enough sleep and doing songs for several hours and then going to play more music again for several hours has been um, strengthening. Stamina. It's really good for stamina. Like mu- musical stamina. I think for me the whole thing was just like learning how to, you know, sing with the band right there. Because whenever I just, you know, I perform, it's just always like the instrumental in the background and just me singing over it. And uh, usually whenever I play with my dad, he has a guitar, so I'm kind of used to that. But like play with the whole band, drums, bass, piano, whatever. Um, it was very different in the learning experience. Yeah. Hey, can you describe your song in one sentence? Uh, yeah, it was uh, based on a setting, uh, Ancient Ruins. And so I wrote about uh, Ancient Ruins and how this native uh, based with the forest with a uh, bunch of explorers. And the lyrics kind of describe that. Outfit. Start late, walk straight down the path leading the second dim light. Turn right towards the mouth of the tunnel that beckons. The green is gone now, it won't be long now until the sky is.
out tonight on CBS. <laughs> did you get that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. That's going in. <laughs> Wait, what are we going to say? Nothing. <laughs> I, I said, it's if we do get together again, it's as the kids would say nowadays, lit. <laughs> oh, creep. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm not a Fellow kids. We can cut Fellow around. Children. We can cut around that joke for the documentary. No. <laughs> this is this is some blooper real shit right here. Any other memes throughout the throw in here or? <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Collect yourselves. Okay, are we doing it now for real? <laughs> and our name is Trey, and we have a basketball game tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my point guard, and I got shoe game. <laughs> People do that. Yeah, what is that important? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Describe your song in one sentence. A big mood. Sometimes life is cruel. It really is a downer. Makes you want to drool and be a saddle frowner. But it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to suck. There's a way to save the day and get your face out of the muck. When you feel like you should quit and just become a piece of dough. There's a place where you can split. Yes, there's a place where you can go. Back to bed. Turn the lights out and go flop. Wrap the blankets around and then pop. All your troubles go away. You've got work to do. And you know it's true. But don't think about that till the day it's due. Just stop for an hour or two or three. And a bright sunny sky will be all you see. Back to bed. You are not gonna fall asleep. Just sit there in a blanket heap. Scroll your worries away. From finding you, keep on laughing at a pointless meme so that you don't feel like you have to scream. Not doing this won't keep you satisfied. Eventually, you'll have to face the world outside. There's more to life than just sitting here. It's probably time to get your head in gear. So get up and do all the things you can do. And here is the last I will say to you. Go to bed, don't think about it too long, just keep on singing this song while your worries away, cause though you feel that empty pain that comes with living life without your brain, your bed is warm and cozy and free, so treat yourself to a napping spree, now wait just a sec, what was I doing just your time is precious, so take great care. Push yourself, see your ambitions through, and bid your regrets a hasty adieu. Cause though your bed's warm and cozy and free. Wow, they're really nice, aren't they? And I have this blanket, it's like the best thing in the world. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. What were we talking about again? Right, not spending too much time in bed. Well, it seems like a problem for a future me. You guys are gonna have your own concert. How exciting is that? I'm, He's performing. I am not excited. I like 
Miss Anson was pushing me to sing, and I, I'm, I'm down to, to try and sing, but I am like, I'll try, I'll try, but I'm not gonna put my heart and soul into it. Like, I mean, like, I'll definitely, I want to try because I'm just for the sake of trying, kind of, you know, but it's kind of hard to put myself out there, especially since I'm not a good singer and I don't have confidence in my singing ability. So, um, what do you actually feel about the concert? How do you think it's gonna turn out? Hopefully, it turns out good. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully people, uh, come and watch us, and, yeah, that's my, that's my hopes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopes I think so far, like, we've all come together pretty well, like, with the band and everything. I think our end is going to be great. Yeah. But if people come... Flawless, obviously. It'll be great. If people don't come, then nobody will know that it was great, so it's fine. So come. We'll know that it was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you think that's how to go? Good. Uh, where we stand, I think if we like, I think if we gave it like one more day of rehearsal, we could get the show on Monday. We'd be fine. So by Wednesday, we'll be pretty good. Yeah. I just hope people like actually yeah. show up. Yeah. Or by Thursday, it'll be fab. Uh, it's like we're gonna show up, but then they'll just keep it. Lucas will crowd surf. Yeah. <laughs> But I said for it to be over, that would be sad. So let's go with um, hearing a live band perform the song because it's so much different hearing someone record it like just on GarageBand than someone play it live. It's like a, a last, uh, last moment like banger. Like you, you, you hit the home run out of the park. Or yeah. Is that is that the term? <laughs> okay. How are you feeling about the concert that's coming up soon? I'm really excited about the concert. I think, um, you know, the band is, the band are seasoned performers and they've performed together a lot. But I would venture a guess that some of the students that will be performing maybe haven't ever performed before or haven't performed that much. Mm -hmm. And the thing about performing, I feel like, you know, especially something like this, right? It's different than doing a POL. I mean, you're basically doing a rock concert. Um, it's it's a rite of passage. It might not turn out exactly the way that you want, but you you know, you have to do your first time before you do all the your other times and mm -hmm. it's just so cool and you'll remember it forever. Oh, <laughs> it's on, it's <laughs> on the awesome. It's out here tab. Bring your friends. Support us. Yes, please feed our family. <laughs> Get in a stage dive. Get, Give us some tips. Let Lucas live his dream of stage diving. That's all he wants to do. That's all he wants. <laughs> I think I wish since I was a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Describe your song in one sentence. Uh, words and music.
<laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I, taking the class, just writer's workshop in general with the short stories and um, the plays and now with the songwriting, it's just helped me become a lot more confident in my writing ability in general. So, and it's helped me fall in love with writing a lot more too. So, yeah, I'll probably be in the future. Yeah, definitely a big increase in confidence. I mean, actually, like, not really with the short stories. I felt less confident after. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> like, with, with songwriting and playwriting, it felt really good. I never knew I could write a song. Yeah. It's so much better than I expected it to be. I mean, it's not my personal taste in music, but whatever works. <laughs> when I'm on my deathbed, I will be thinking really hard about my life and I'll remember this moment <laughs> and I will cringe so hard that I eat myself out of existence <laughs> but you know there's some bangers in there so you know hopefully it won't be too cringy. if you ever do a reunion with this band that would be pretty cool but we can do we're, 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 <laughs> oh yeah this Portuguese. We're, we're gonna graduate in a few days and we're all kind of going different places but it'd be so awesome to get together yeah. How do you think it'll, this will continue into the future, like in mm. future classes? Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of ideas. Well, I have some mm -hmm. ideas with that. Okay, so um, <clears throat> in the future, mm -hmm. uh, I have a real definite idea of how I want this to continue. Um, I actually wanted to do it this time around, but I wasn't able to pull it together in time. I want to create a, an album with the recorded music, and I have a friend... Um, who is a kind of amateur um, producer, recorder guy. He, he works Oracle. He's our bass player in our band. And um, I've talked to him about it, and we want to get a recording studio and record an album um, and then, you know, have that, like, on Bandcamp, have, like, original artwork, blah, blah, blah. I think that would be super cool. Now, describe your song in one sentence. We had to address a prompt for each of the songs we wrote, and one prompt was writing an escape song. And so I like to escape to a swing club that I go to every Thursday night, and so uh, that's where I pulled my inspiration from. And check it out, the 920 special. Yeah. It's 20 after 9, so grab your dancing shoes. We're headed to a place that's sure to amuse. They've got experts from afar and learners who want to swap And they all come to do the Lindy Hop Come with me to a place I know so well Come with me to a place flooded with sound Where the beat rumbles from down below And dance until you hit the ground
Sir, why are you running? <laughs> we know your time is valuable. <laughs> and we won't waste any more of Wait, it. Hold than up, we have he's to. posing. Calm down. He's posing. Oh, he's preening. He's preening. He has to get camera ready. That's what he is. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mr. Franklin, Mrs. Daphne, are you excited for the oncoming concert? So what do you expect? Next question. Sir, sir, what is your favorite song of the year? Why are you running? Uh, do you prefer jazz or disco? So you like that? <laughs> Hard rock, maybe? <laughs> are you familiar with Howard Metal the Duck? Yeah, are you a fan of the Duck song? Do you know the five little ducks came out to play? Do you enjoy lemonade or grapes? <laughs> <laughs> Please answer us. Are you by any chance related to Daphne? Daisy? Scrooge McDuck? Oh my god, what's left in me? Oh, they stared at you. Oh my god, they know Scrooge McDuck. <laughs>